It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Adnams and Thornbridge Brewery. It's a collaboration between the two breweries. It's called Nevermore. It's an India Porter coming in at 5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. I picked this can up in Morrison's supermarket recently. Um, I'm looking forward to getting into this. I've had a few of the Adnams collaborations. Recently they did a collaboration with Magic Rock, now Thornbridge. I think what they're trying to do, and I think it's a good idea, because Adnams Brewery, they produce some really, really good beer. Now some might say that they're a bit of a regional brewery, you know, you see Ghost Ship in most supermarkets. You might see Broadside in, 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 in a Waitrose. And you might see a lot of their pubs. But I think they're one of the regional breweries that are making a big effort. A big, big effort to say, hey, okay, we might be a regional brewery, but we're still looking to produce quality, quality beers. And I think that's the reason behind these collaborations with the likes of Magic Rock and Thornbridge is to say, hey, we can brew beer like these guys. And I, I've done a, uh, an interview with uh, Fergus from Adnams, the head brew of, uh, of Adnams. We, we, did a, we did a live feed. We, we had a really good drink. We had a proper drink that night. But I did a live feed with, with, with Fergus about four or five months ago. And he came across really well. Come across fantastically well. Really knowledgeable brewery. Uh, brewer. And... The beers we drank were fantastic. They were absolutely fantastic, some of the beers we had that night. And it's only because I think I live in West, or oh, I live in Wales, West, and he lives down in the east corner of the UK, down in, um, well, Adnams are based down there in Southwall. That, that, that it, it's kind of difficult for me to pick up all of their beers. But, long story short, bit of, long, bit of a long-winded conversation here, but I promise you I'll get to the beer in a moment. When I do see their beer in the supermarket, I make a massive effort to jump at it and go, hey, this looks good, we'll review that. So beer in the glass, uh, this is an India Porter. So I'm thinking this could be down the lines of a black IPA. It's gonna be hoppy with the word India in there. And of course, it being a Porter, it, it, it's a dark beer. Darkish, I'd say it looks more like a mild, especially with all that light bleeding through in the glass. I'd say that's more of a, a dark ruby mild. But good carbonation, nice haze on it. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells good. It smells really, really good. Lovely chocolatey aroma with a nice hoppy backbone. Backing that up. Lovely and roasty, roasty and toasty. A little bit of vanilla, cinnamon, spices. It smells really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I like that. I like that. It holds on to being refreshing. Uh, it, I, I'm reviewing this in July. In the, it's about 25 degrees outside. It's, it's a refreshing beer that I want to sit in the garden with, to be honest. I just want to switch the camera off and walk around to the garden and get in there with this beer. It's quite refreshing. That said, it's got a, a nice medium kind of mouthfeel for that porter taste. Velvety, smooth, biscuity and bready and nutty. There's some licorice flavours, 
a little bit of chocolate coffee caramel flavors coming through from the roasted malt in the beer it's rather nice and hoppy it's I like the name India Porter before drinking this I've never had a can of this before I've just opened it in front of the camera now so I was trying to make a trying to second guess it if you like but I was thinking to myself India Porter that India word was going to be bringing it more into the kind of the black IPA realm but it's definitely more a porter it's definitely definitely more a porter than than an IPA but it does have a, a nice hoppy characteristic to it. Carbonation pushes that beer on the inside of the mouth. Behind all of the roasted malt, if I try and push that to one side of my brain, all of that flavour, you do pick up like lemon and orange flavours from the hops. It might be a use of maybe some traditional British hops in the beer mixed with some good American hops, maybe some Australian hops. We'll have a look, we'll, we'll, we'll read the description in a moment. But two good breweries, two, two really good breweries that, I mean, I, I got on my journey with beers and craft beers back in 2010, so we're almost, we're about four months away from 2022, so the channel's almost 12 years old. And um, Adams and Thornbridge have been there, well, they've always been there. They've always been there since I got involved with craft beer. But they, they're two breweries which they've always kept a, a good level of quality, a good level of quality. They've never, over the years, I've seen breweries that, that have come in really, really good to begin with, and then the quality drops off once they start hitting the supermarket shelves, which is fine, I suppose, if they want to sell beer on a mass. But Thornbridge and Adams have been very consistent, I would say, in the quality of their beer. Now, let's see what this is. Quite a large description, so I'm going to be quite quick with this if, I, if my brain allows me to. About this collaboration. Our 2021 collaboration series focuses on our journey towards a sustainable future, working with like-minded breweries. With each collaboration brew, Adams will make a new commitment, continuing our sustainability story. Uh, Nevermore is inspired by a combination of Adams Ghost Ship 4.5% ABV and Thornbridge Brewery's Wild Raven. Wow! Didn't know that. Not read the side of the can before. I like to go into my beer reviews blind. I don't like to go into them knowing everything because you guys, you don't just want me to spit out what's on the side of the can, do you? Um, but reimagined using only UK hops. Named after Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven Nevermore uses locally grown grain to add light toasted coffee notes to the juicy pineapple, grapefruit and pine flavours from the UK hops. The result is an India porter that's bittersweet, just like Poe's haunting tale. Ah, oh, that's a proper cool little story there. Cool little story. Okay, I'm ready to rate it. So I didn't know it was a combination of Ghost Ship and Raven. Raven's a great beer. It's a great beer by Thornbridge. And Ghost Ship, I had it on a mini cask a few months ago. Fabulous. Let's rate it. Good lacing. Good carbonation on the glass. As you rock the beer back and forth, you can see the carbonation chasing the, 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 the head of the glass. And it, it's more or less looking for me like a dark mild, but I suppose you can probably just about get away with it being called a porter. I like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.